Tony winner Laura Benanti and Emmy winner Keegan-Michael Key are bringing the fun to the new comedy Meteor Shower, playing a wild couple that shakes up a dinner party, hosted by the more straight-laced pair of Amy Schumer and Jeremy Sheamus. We recently invited the two stars for a photo shoot and chat about the crazy dynamics of the show and keeping their cool around celebrity playwright Steve Martin. Part of the joy of this experience has been watching the delight in his eyes. Yeah. Watching this, watching him watch it come together. It's been lovely. I can't look at him, so I don't know. I can't look, I get too nervous. <laughs> and every time I say something, he's like, what? Like, I feel like he can't hear me or like, so then I get even, then I'm even more like, but, and he's like, get away from me. But I'm such a huge fan of his. It makes me so nervous when I see him. And then I try to be cool where I'm like, oh, hey, Steve. And it's just, I'm, a, I'm perpetually awkward. I'm like forever awkward. That's going to be the name of my album. Forever, uh, yeah. forever, forever awkward. awkward. With its face off between two very different couples, Meteor Shower has been compared to Edward Albee's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, which naturally made us wonder if Benanti and Key were the Nick and Honey in the equation. If anything what were the George happened? and Martha, they're the Nick and Honey. And that's all I can say without ruining the play. It's a very absurdist yes, that's uh, Virginia Woolf. Or that's an absurdist a delicate balance. It's an absurdist Albi. <laughs> Pick an Albi. And it's the absurdist version of that. Yeah, it's um You just so, sounded so smart. Was it? <laughs> so thank you, Yeah. Honey. I mean yeah. I know you're really smart, but you just sounded like very like theatery. You're great. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we're definitely the George and I would say we're the George and Martha. It's just the fact is in this play, the George and Martha are visiting. Right. They're visiting Nick and Honey. It's a, it's a flip. Yeah. They've decided that the best way to keep the rela their relationship fertile and and and, and exciting and fecund with opportunity Jesus is, is is is, is to try is, is is to try is to try to keep everything as open. It's not a real word. -E I just Googled it C -U -N -D. on my hand and it's not so, a real word. <laughs> you <are. laughs> it's really about human behavior and how we interact with each other. Um, and it's very, very funny. Audiences um, so are really enjoying, enjoying it. it. Yeah, yeah. So. Do you like how I'm like, audiences are enjoying it? <laughs> Where I'm like hip hypnotizing them. Audiences <clears throat> are enjoying it. That play was good. <laughs> Meteor Shower is set in the 90s, a time of excess for its four characters. But in that time also, that was a time of surplus and excess, yeah. you know, in, in, in the 90s. And I think we all thought, yeah, we shouldn't have regulations on things. And we shouldn't worry about these rules so much. And we shouldn't, in, we should indulge the id and not the super ego. Yeah. The 90s, the early 90s weren't that different. It was very yeah. Epicurean. <laughs> Too smart now. <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me today. You're so, you're like an encyclopedia of knowledge. It's yes. very annoying. Both Epicurean and Dionysian. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I hope the audience leaves saying, Larvin Auntie looks beautiful. Honey, they do. That's what I want them to leave No, with. I guarantee she you they do. She had a baby? That's what I want them to say. Yeah. And then also all that stuff you just said. <laughs> but later. But later? Later. No, the first thing first I should thing, be thinking is... She had a baby? She's gorgeous. Where'd that baby go? Yeah. And then Animus yeah. Animal. And then Animus Anima. Uh, is, uh, ego. Union. 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 Yeah, she, right. yeah. Just, she, yeah, she was saying, and Fred, you're going off the road. I was thinking about Laura Bonanza. Yes. <laughs> I was blinded. I, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll, well, almost just almost caused an accident on yeah. the turnpike. Don't cause accidents. Going home to Clifton. Clifton. I have family in Clifton. I know you anyway. Too.